Good morning. Good morning. It's a great day to give God praise. I just want you to take a moment out and just focus on the love of Christ this morning. Because in this season, there would be no joy without him. The sun could not rise without him. he wants from us is a yes.
to have you joining us today and with our church family. This is the day the Lord has blessed us to be here, and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Later in the service, you will receive an invitation to join the Antioch East Church family. And if you are so led by God, we welcome you into our family. May God continue to keep you and guide you. This is my prayer. Announcements. There will be a very important Courtesy Guild meeting next Sunday, December 11th, immediately after worship in Mother Leach's classroom. Also today, the outreach ministry will meet after morning service in the dining area. Please be on time. Members, if you would like to share your birthday or anniversary, please contact the administrative office with your information via phone or email to ensure we recognize you. Members, please stop eating in the sanctuary so that we don't have a problem with pests. We need everyone's help with this to keep our church beautiful. Now we will have our welcome song. of your state of mind. Have a blessed week. Good morning. Church family, it is the month of December, the last month of the year. And in this month, we just want to have a reflection over how God is good he's been to us. But there are birthdays in this month. There are also anniversaries in this month. We're asking you, if you're selling a birthday in this month, will you please sing it? For those celebrating an anniversary within this month, will you please? And to our live streamers at home, if you're celebrating a birthday or anniversary, we ask you, if you're able to stand, stand or wave your hand, and we would just feel your spirit. Also, as we go in prayer, I want to recognize our outreach ministry and for what they've done with over 200 plus turkeys and some hens that were distributed, other things, Antioch East. We exceeded the benchmark. We even had people coming out and still looking. So God was mighty good to the outreach ministry and the Elkies and those in need. We're going to ask again for you that I had asked to stand with birthdays and anniversaries to please stand once again because we want to make sure you get your birthday prayer, your anniversary covering. So please stand. We have those that are in need of prayer. Will you please stand? Anyone that's in need of prayer. Amen. We will give those ample time that are walking in to be seated. But
But when I think about how good God has been to us, the only thing I got to do is say, look who's behind me. Those that the devil thought he had counted out. But they're singing this morning, giving God their praises. I don't have to call them one name. They know who they are. You know who they are. There are those in this congregation right now when the devil thought he had you. He had your mind and your spirit. That is the time that you see that God is still on the throne. We're going to go in prayer, and as we go in prayer, we're praying for it. the birthdays. We're praying for the anniversary. We're praying for the runoff election this week. But we're also praying for those that have lost their way. And we're praying for those who have come back to the Lord. And we pray for those who are standing in the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, today is the day that we give you all acknowledgement. You are our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You are the Lord our shepherd, we shall not want. You are a mighty good friend that we have, but God, you are the peacemaker, Lord. You're the heavy load carrier. You're the battle like in the time of battle. You're the shelter in the time of a storm. You are the peace be still in troubling water. You are the amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Lord, we have life before us today, God. Those that are celebrating their birthday in the month of December. We thank you for them, Jesus. This is the month that we want to say thank you for their birthday. Lord, we have marriages that are still sustaining in the test of time. We want to give you the praises, Lord. Lord, we have those that have been sick and shut in. Didn't know if they were going to be able to make it back into the house of the Lord. But they're here today, God. But there are still those at home that are sick and shut in. There are those that want to be here but had to work today. There are those that have other responsibilities. But God, we are covering them. Lord, we are covering the woman of God that is coming forth with the word today. Be with evangelists now, youth of Ross. Pour over into her, God. Pour over into her, thus saith the Lord. Have thine own way. But God, is there any safe place for us? Is there any place where we can say danger is not around us? No, the only place that we can find it is being in your arms. Falling in your arms and near your bosom and say, God, cover us. God, keep us. God, hold on to us. God, deliver us. God, elevate us. God, guide us and teach us. Have thine own way. God, if we're not careful, our minds will become runaway trains. Flashing and going everywhere except for the right way, and that's your way. So, God, we give you the praises today. Oh, we give you the praises. Lord, someone right now, there's a mother that's worried about a child, there's a father that's been holding on and saying, God, I know you got my family. There's somebody that's saying right now, I've done all I can. I done prayed to you. I done cried out to you. I done held on to you. But what must I do? Just continue to say Jesus, knowing that everything will be all right. As we close out this year, God, we're just praying that we will still be in the number. But just in case we're not, your will will be done. So we just want to say today, Lord, we cast all of our cares at your feet. And we watch the power of God move in a mighty, 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 mighty good way. One for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Holy Spirit. It has been asked. It has been heard, it has been received, and the God that we serve, we know, we know, we know it's been done. The 
God be the glory. Amen.
Good morning. Good morning. I will be reading uh, the offertory scripture this morning, Mark 12, chapter 41 and 44, and it reads, And he sat down opposite of the treasury and watched the people putting money into the offering box. Many rich people put in large sums, and a poor widow came and put into two small copper coins, which make a penny. And he called his disciples to him and said to them, Truly I say, contributing to the offering box, for they all contribute out of their abundance, but she out of her poverty has put in everything she had, all she had to live on. I have just read to you scripture, Mark 12, verses 41 through 44. Father God, we come to you this morning thanking you for your many blessings, Father God. We thank you for lying us down last night and waking us up this morning, Lord, Father God. Father God, we thank you for a warm roof over our head, Father God. We thank you for the clothes on our back, Father God. We thank you for our jobs, Father God. Father God, we thank you for our health. Father God, we thank you for clothing us in our right minds so when we go out on Tuesday and we cast our vote, we cast it for sanity, Father God. Father God, I ask you to cover our babies, our little kids. When they leave home and go to work or go to school and come back or go to the mall, they come back safe to their families. Let them know violence is not the resource. It's not. It's not. So just cover them, Father God. We should be, they should be burning us. We should not be burning them, Father God. So this is not the way it goes, Father God. So Father God, I am so thankful for our pastor, Dr. Michael A. Smith, First Lady Patricia, Father God, thank you for my fellow deacons and continue to uplift us so we can continue to be some strong soldiers, Father God. Father God, I thank you for the congregation. Thank you for our mothers. And Father God, please uplift our sick and shut in and our bereavement and keep um, Deacon Hargrove in our prayers, Father God. Father God, we're so thankful. But now what we're going to do, we're going to give just a little bit back to you, Father God. You have done so much for us, so the amount does not add up to what you have done for us and what you continue to do for us, Father God. So I ask the ones that are able to give, give. And the ones that are not, that's, that's fine. Because you know our God is a good God and understanding. And so I ask you, please come forward, please. And thank you, Father God. Amen. Amen.
Now today we're going to ask for your help today. So if you're able to stand on your feet, if you could just help us sing this song.
King and Lord of Lords. Oh, thank you, Lord. Amen. You are. together and tell the Lord thank you. Woo. Amen. God is awesome. God is a good God. Oh yeah. Woo. Y'all, 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 y'all done stir me up. All right, Reverend Stoner. All right, Reverend Stoner. You stir me up back there. You know, oh, don't you go there. Don't you go there. God use you sure? because I'm gonna get mine. See, I don't have a deep cup. My cup is overflowing right now. It's going out there to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Woo, my soul. Love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. Amen. Lord, I thank you. Amen. Amen. That's what I'm talking about, the spirit of God. And it, it go, it go, whoop, 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 whoop. You don't know how your hands go up. You're just doing a crate to pray. All you know, it's gone up. Huh? It's just up. You don't even know how it got up there. Hallelujah. When God begin to bless you. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Amen. I rise to give an honor to the most high God. Who's the head of all of our lives? Amen. To my pastor. Hallelujah. God bless you, Pastor Smith. Amen. Amen. God bless you, my sister Smith. Amen. Amen. I bless you all this morning with the word of God. I thank and praise God this morning for the word of God. I thank and praise God because he's good all by himself. What did y'all come here today to do? Did y'all come to work? Did y'all come to work? Hey, 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 hey. Amen. I come to work this morning. Amen. I'm on with a soldier now. I'm of the Lord. We are soldier. We come to work. We are working for the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Hallelujah. Just a little bit. Amen. Just a little bit. Because the Spirit of God is still moving all down in my sanctified soul. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank God. I'm going to go with a prayer this morning. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come and say thank you for all your many blessings. God, when we woke up this morning and we looked around, everybody was doing fine. And we thank and praise God for that this morning. We lift you up this morning higher. You said, if I, if I be lifted up, I'm going to draw all men unto me. And we're going to draw. We want you to draw unto thee today. Oh, God, move in this place today like never before. Like never before. Because only you can do it, Father. Somebody is sick today. I know it is, Lord. I feel it. I feel that spirit of sickness today. I feel it today. But they said, if I can just get to the house of prayer, I know it's going to be all right. Amen. Take them through, God. Work on them, God. Heal the bodies. In the name of Jesus. And God will forever give the praise of In the blessed name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. This morning, we're going to talk this morning just a few minutes. And I want you all to use your Bibles this morning. And when I say read, I want you to open up your Bibles and I want you to read along with me because it's God's word. Amen. Amen. God's word. Amen. You know, I was thinking about um, subject this morning. Amen. It says loving God, loving people who are hard to love. Loving people who are hard to love. Amen. Do you love yourself? Do you love yourself? Amen. And it ain't hard to love God's people. Amen. It's not hard to love God's people. Hallelujah. But we thank and praise God for the word of God, for the peoples of God. I want you to turn to John, the 15th chapter and the 12th verse. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. John 15 and 12. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. It says, let us all read together. This is my commandment. As I, let's read it one more time. This is my commandment. That you what? Love one another. As I have loved you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. This is God's commandment that we love one another. 
And I say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, yeah, in all he done for, hit yourself, hit yourself, me, 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 hey, hey. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he have done for me, what just do? My soul cries out and says, what? Hallelujah. Say it again. Hallelujah. Say it again. Hallelujah. I thank God for what? Y'all act like you don't know what it says. Say it again. Saving me. Yeah. Amen. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he done for me. Amen. My, amen. My soul cries out. Hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. Amen. 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 It is, and you know, we, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I want you to stay with me. I, I, I'm, I'm on a journey. And it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his what? Only. Say it again. That whosoever shall not what? Ah, you don't have to perish today. You can have a what? A everlasting life. Oh, my God, my God, my God. I thank God for the word of God. And see, when God sent his only begotten son into the world, that we all might be saved today. And that's what we're working on. Amen. We got to be saved today. Is that right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want you to turn to Matthew, the 27th chapter. Uh-huh, we're not going to read all of that. That's called talking about the crucifixion of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to just go with it just a little bit. I want you to read it when you get home. Read that whole entire chapter. Hallelujah. The 27th chapter of Matthew. Hallelujah. And it says, uh-huh, hallelujah. The son of a living God. Amen. He died for who? All of us. Amen. That we all might have what? The tree of life. Amen. He died for us. Jesus' son died for us. He went on that cross. What did he do? He hung up on that cross. And they stretched him wide. And they hung him high. He didn't have to do it. Oh, no, he didn't. He didn't have to do it. Amen. It said, loving, loving God's people is not hard to love. It, it's, it's not hard to do. So we sit in the house of God and we say, I love you. I love you. I love you. Yeah. Are you true? Telling the truth when I, you say you love me. Amen. And it says, as, as we begin to preach and teach the word of God in the 27th chapter of Matthew. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. See, the devil's alive. My glasses just came, popped open. That's all right. I got them back. I fixed them. I fixed them back. Amen. 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 When Jesus died on that cross, he died for all of us. And he rose again with all power in his hand. Not some power. All power. When he rose, he died that we all might be have the right to the tree of life today. And that's what we're on today. We got the right to the tree of life. When Jesus died on that cross, thank God for the blood of Jesus. Do y'all know what the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus can save you today. The blood of Jesus can heal you today. The blood of Jesus can keep you today. It's the blood of Jesus that we have today. Amen. Thank God for the blood. He didn't stay in the grave. He got up. He got up with what? All power in his hand. And I thank and praise God today that he got up. I'm talking about for God so loved the world. God gave his only begotten son. And he died for all of us. That we all might have a light to the tree of life. Amen. Amen. You know, a lot of times we come into church and we join the church. We just join the church. That's all we do. We just join the church. Do you know you got to be born in the church? You got to be born in the church. That I heard the church say, this is the church of God in Christ. Oh, yeah. You got to be born in it. You just can't join it. This is the church of God in Christ. I want you to turn to Romans 10, the 10th chapter and the 9th 
verse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Romans, the 10th chapter. Amen. Amen. When you get it, say amen. 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 Romans, the 10th chapter. Amen. And let us all read it together. We're going to confess it. Come on. That if thou shalt confess, Romans 10, 9, read it. Y'all, uh, y'all didn't read it. <laughs> y'all didn't read it. Y'all like y'all scared. Y'all like it. They didn't read it. Rev, Rev, uh, Deacon Patterson, they didn't read it. 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 Amen. It said that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, huh? The Lord sheathed us. Huh? And believe in what? Thine heart that God had what? Raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. Uh, come on, come on. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all you got to do is believe. That's all you got to do is confess. I said when you walk in the house of God, you just come on in and you just sit down. And I, some of you ain't told the Lord, Lord, forgive me, Lord, I've confessed, Lord, save me. It's just a pattern. We do it Sunday after Sunday. I'm not talking about here. It's everywhere. Yeah. You got to learn how to live for, the, the, for God. See, I confess it today. I confess my sin. I want to live right. I want to do right. Huh? We can't just sit up in God's house and don't want to do right. Come on, somebody. Amen. It's the word of God. Come on, somebody. I want somebody to get to, uh, John, 1 John 4 and 20. Let's read it. Amen. 1 John. 1 John. I want y'all to stay with me. Hallelujah. 1 John. And when you get it, say amen. Are y'all looking? I ain't going to hold you very long. I promise you I won't hold your love. I don't know where Deacon Sneeze at. I'll never forget it. He, I was up ministering one Sunday, and I said, what time it is? And Deacon Sneeze hollered out and told me. It was so, it was so routed that it was, it, it was just right on time. But you ain't got to tell me the day called the Holy Ghost got my time. Come on, somebody. Amen. You have First John 4 and 20? Amen. All right. Let me, let me, let me get it. I just... Hallelujah. There you go. Where's John? Okay. All right, come on, let's read it. Be loved. I'm going to start, I'm going to start at that. First John 4 and 18. Let's start right there. 18 chapter. There is no fear in love, but perfect love cast out all fear, because fear has tormented. He that fear is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. If a man say, I love God and hate his brother, he's a what? He's a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he had seen, how can he love God whom he never seen? You're sitting in the house of God. You're sitting by each other. You're walking down the aisle. You're looking across that way. And you won't even say good morning. Just walking in the church. And you say you love each other. Hey, I look over and see Sister Ann Cotton. God bless you. I'm so glad to see you. Amen, amen Sister Cotton. I, I love that woman over there. Yeah. Amen, amen. You know I love you. Amen. It's good to see you yeah. in the house of God. But you know what? You just can't walk in God's house and just sit down. And don't say nothing to your brothers and sisters. Amen. That you's a liar. How you think the spirit of God is going to dwell in you? Huh? How you think the spirit of God is going to move on you? You got to tell the naked truth. 
Now, the pastor was preaching on last Sunday, Sunday before last, down there in, in Lithonia. What was, he, what was the pastor's name? Pastor uh, Emeriot uh, Benton. He said, just tell the naked truth. He said, don't try to dress it up. Just tell the naked truth. I was sitting up in the house of God, and we just sitting there like we got it all made, like we on our way to heaven. Amen. We own our way to heaven, all right. But we got to love everybody. Amen. It's not, hard, it's not hard to love nobody if you got the love of Jesus in you. Is it hard to love? Amen. You got to have the love of Jesus on the inside of you. Amen. Y'all better talk. You better say it. Hallelujah. Get me Acts to the first, the second chapter and the first, the fourth verse. Acts. Hallelujah. Acts. Acts. Mm-hmm. Amen. I'm coming home with it. I'm coming home with it. Amen. It don't take all day. It don't take all day. Amen. It don't take all day. It don't take all day. Amen. Amen. Come on. Come on. And I want you all to read it. This is the word of God. Amen. It said Acts, the second chapter. Read the first verse until I tell you to stop. Come on. Come on. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they was all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Now I'm going to stop right there. It was a rushing mighty wind. That came in and filled the house. Amen. I think about 12, 23 Hard East Street. How the Holy Ghost would catch, would catch those mothers and deacons on, on fire in the whole entire church. I never will forget Mother Ma Burster. Hallelujah. Do you know who I'm talking about, church? Clap your hand if you know who I'm talking about. Mother Ma Burster was a soldier. And when she would catch on fire, she would go. Come on, somebody. She would get to praising God. Amen. I remember her. I remember her. Amen. Amen. I remember her. Do y'all remember her? Y'all better come on here. Y'all better catch on fire. I said Mother Mo Burst, not only her. When I looked over there and see Mother Osa Smith, hallelujah, catching on fire. With the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We, we sit in God's house. That same Holy Spirit dwells right here. Amen. Amen. And all we got to do is just say, Lord, use me for your glory. Lord, use me for your glory. Come on, let's read some more. And, and there appear unto them clover's tongues like as fire. And it set up on each of them. And they were all filled with the what? With the what? Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. And began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Amen. Set upon them with the Holy Ghost. Amen. As the Spirit of God give you utterance. Come on, church. We got to have the Holy Spirit. We got to. That's what Jesus left with us. He said, I'm going away. And I'm going to prepare a place for you. And where I go, you can come too. Amen. And he said, send you to what? The comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Holy Ghost is our what? Keeper. The Holy Ghost is our deliverer. The Holy Ghost will save us. The Holy Ghost will keep us. Hallelujah. Because you know what? We got to have the Holy Ghost. Amen. Y'all saying it just like you don't know what I'm saying. You got to have the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And you're not thank God for the urchins back there. Y'all back there and all that pretty white. Raise your hand. Just raise your hand back there. Stand up and raise your hand. Stand up. Stand up. All of y'all urchins back there. Hallelujah. You say, I'd rather be a dope keeper in the house of the Lord and to dwell in the tent with the weak in there. Stand on up. When they come through that door, the Holy Spirit going to guide you all. You don't know how they're going to be acting, but you all got the what? The Holy Ghost. Huh? 
you got to have the Holy Ghost. And when you have the Holy Ghost, it's going to tell you what to say and what to do. Come on, somebody. <clears throat> Come on, somebody. You can sit down. Amen. Amen. And you got to have the discerning of the Spirit. Pastor can't see everything. Whoever's speaking, you got to have the discerning of the Spirit. When the devil come up in here and, y'all, and, he, and he'll take over. He'll take over if you allow allowed. Because this is his throne. This is his throne right here. This is his throne. This is his throne. He says in the midst of the congregation. And you got to know when he walked through that door. He dressed up from head to toe. And he walking down looking around. See who he going to devour. How he going to tap the church. <clears throat> How he going to tap the church? Y'all better come on somebody. You don't know who's going to come through those doors. You better have the designing of the spirit. You better have the Holy Ghost. You better have the fire in the Holy Ghost. Because if you ain't got that fire in the Holy Ghost, he will come in here and he will tear it up. I know it's the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. I never will forget. Hallelujah. When we travel. We traveled a life at 1223. When uh, I think it was the late Reverend E.W. Lumpkin, he was the pastor. Hallelujah. And I'm looking back there at John Chair and Trops of Brewer. Y'all was right there too, and I remember. Yes, you did. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hey, 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 hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all better, y'all better listen to me. And as we begin to go in and sing, and I'm walking through the church. And here come this, this demon, this wild woman. She come running through the church. We getting ready to start. I don't know whether you remember. Deacon Raul sure remember because he was sitting right there. But he had all his limbs. Thank God for Deacon Raul today. Give him a hand, y'all. Y'all give that man of God a hand. He's a blessing. He's a blessing. And when that woman walked in the church, hallelujah, she came running down through there. And she, why she want to grab me, Pastor? Pastor Smith, I don't know. She grabbed me and she throwed me around and she she just throwed me, just picked me up and hit the I hit the flow. I hit the flow. And when I hit the flow, I hit the piano. Yes, I did. The late Deacon Emmett Green. Do y'all remember him? Come on, somebody. He stood up. And said, what's going on? She said, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I was upset. I didn't know what to do. And when she grabbed me, she came to me, please forgive me. Please forgive me. That's why I said, you can't walk in and go, you don't know what's going to attack you in here. Y'all better come on here. You don't know what's going on in here. But you better know you better have the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. You better have the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost is our keeper today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <coughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And if you feel with the Holy Spirit, you know where the Holy Spirit is up there. Holy Spirit right there. Here come our pastor. And here come the, the body. That's the way it goes. So you see, see, the Holy Spirit is in, in charge of us. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah. And if you ain't got the Holy Ghost, you might do in there say anything. Yes, Come on, somebody. Yes, Amen. 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 Come on, somebody. Amen. Do you have the Holy Ghost today? If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you say, Lord, I need the Holy Ghost. And I already told you, confess it with your mouth and believe the Lord Jesus Christ. Huh? And thou shalt be saved. Sometimes we don't confess it. Sometimes we don't do anything. We just stand up and we just look. But you know what? We got to confess this thing every day, every day, every day living for God, living for the Lord. And and, and if you say you love God and you don't love your brother and sister, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. We stand up in the house of God. We just saying, oh, I just love you. I can't stand her. That's right. I can't stand her. 
that right? That's right. I can't stand them. And you, be, and you get in here, and the pastor done told you to put them phones down, and they go to Texas. Come on, somebody. You ain't got no Holy Ghost. You just, just me. Just, just want to do what you want to do. Just out of order. Texas. Girl, did you see that woman walk through the door? Did you see what she had on? Hallelujah. Don't have no Holy Ghost. Just want to get in folks' business. That's right. I'm going to talk to you today. Amen. Come on, somebody. I know it's the truth. Amen. It's the naked truth. Amen. See, I had to be taught. Amen. I was taught at a young age. And never will forget. This young, this deacon down at Brown Hills Baptist Church. Deacon Will Furlow. And that man will walk the floor. He didn't have no carpet on the floor. Didn't have no nice seats to sit on. Had wooden benches. Huh, do y'all know anything about that? Uh-huh, yeah, 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 you do. Yes, you do. You know about it. I know you do. But that's all right. And that man will praise God. That man will praise God. The deacon would catch on fire with the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. I said the deacon would catch on fire. The church would catch on fire. And the preaching hadn't even preached. That's what I'm talking about, the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost would keep you. Amen. The Holy Ghost would make you go back and say, I'm so sorry. It would make you forgive. I ain't going uh-uh, I, 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 I can't do it. She did it to me. I can't forget it. A liar. Amen. Don't take it to your grave. Don't take it to your grave because you don't know when, how, or where. When, how, or where death will come. So don't let it, don't take nothing to your grave. Amen. Live according to what the scripture says today. And Pastor, you said something on yesterday. Amen. We were in the De Deaconess's meeting. I don't know whether you forgot it or not. It is stuck in my mind. He said, we was voted, and he said, we want to do it this way and do it that way. And then some of them said, we, we can do it this way, Pastor. He said, no, 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 I want to do it this way. Is that right, Pastor? Yes, That's right. And when we voted, he said, I want you to write it on a piece of paper and then put it in the basket. So you're always putting people up who you want. Huh, 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 huh. Come on, somebody. You put people up who you want to be. Hey. You know she ain't going to do nothing. Why y'all put her up there like that? I'm telling the truth. Put somebody up that's going to work a room beach. Put somebody that's going to take care of the job because of who you are. We don't need that. And you got to have the Holy Ghost. If you own any ministry in this church, you better have the Holy Ghost. I, I know it's the truth. Do y'all have the Holy Ghost out here? I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. I know you do. In a ministry that you work on in the household of faith, you better have the Holy Ghost. It's our teacher and it's our guide. <clears throat> and people will get upset with you for telling the truth. You hear what I say, Pastor? I don't even like Pastor Smith. Y'all ought to be ashamed of Who said that? I heard you out there. The spirit. The spirit. The spirit. Yes, he did. See, 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 I'm going to tell the truth. So, so, see, Pastor, the devil is a lie. He said, touch not my anointing. You better keep your mouth off the man of God. Anybody. You better keep your mouth off him. You better have the Holy Ghost and power. You better have that burning down on the inside. I look over there, that mother Sophia Kara, 103 years old. Mother Kara was stirred stuff over there, and the mother be sitting, someone be sitting there looking at I said, y'all need to catch on fire, like Mother Kara. I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to tell the truth. That's the truth. I know it's the truth. Praise the mother. Praise the mother. Praise him, y'all. Y'all better praise him. Because time is winding up. 
you better have the Holy Ghost and fire that's burning. Hey, 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 hey. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost. I said the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You better be careful what you say up in here. Yeah. Amen. You better be careful because you, don't, you know you might not make it back to the house. You might not see your loved one. Don't talk about God's people. Love them. Love them. You say you, you say you can love God's people. Yes, you can. It ain't hard to love nobody. And I knew they used to sing a song. It's so hard to get along. Why are you singing them sad songs? Ain't no such a thing as a hard to get. Is it hard to get along, pal? Is it hard to get along, brother Post? Is it hard to get along, brother Show? Well, why y'all saying them old songs, sad songs? It's so hard. I just can't hardly get along. That ain't right. You better sing something like that. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. That's what you better be singing. Hallelujah. Fire. Shut up in my bone. Holy Ghost fire. I know I got the Holy Ghost fire. And I ain't just got it. Amen. I remember when I was a little girl. And my mama used to tell them, leave her alone. Something wrong with it. They say, so live. That girl got the fine Holy Ghost. I told her. I said, I want that, Pastor. I said, I told her. I want that. Where the other mic at? Give me that other mic. Give me that mic so I can move. Thank you, Lord. Give me a mic so I can move. Amen. Amen. When I was a little girl and, 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 and I used to go to church and I used to see my cousin and they was at the sanctified church down in Monroe, Georgia. And that was my cousin. And she used to get up and praise the Lord. And I used to say, Mama, what's wrong with her? She said, she got the Holy Ghost. I said, well, Mama, I want some of that. I want some of that. Amen. Amen. I want some of that. I want that. Do you want that? I heard somebody say, yeah, you can have it. It's a gift. Come on, somebody. If you need the Holy Ghost today. Pastor, we're going to send that invitation out there today for them. Hallelujah. If you need to find the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. Amen. All you got to do, confess it and believe in the Lord Jesus. Come on, Reverend Slaughter. I'm about finished. Come on, Reverend Slaughter. I'm about finished. Amen. Amen. It don't take all day to do nothing. But you better get your mind made up. Amen. You better get your mind made up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because he's on his way back. Jesus on his way back. Amen. Amen. Just like, just like fire, shut up in my bone. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up in my bone. Just like fire, shut up in my bone. Just like fire in my bone. Just like fire. Just like Holy Ghost fire in my Just like fire. Yes, like fire. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Fire. Well, Holy Ghost fire. Just like fire. Just like fire. Just like fire. Well, Holy Ghost. Come on. Just like fire. Just like fire, just like fire, we're holy ghost fire, come on boy, just like fire, just like fire, just like fire, we're holy ghost fire, I remember the day, the very hour Jesus saved my soul with the Holy Ghost fire and I began to burn down in my soul that's when the Holy Ghost took control just like fire just like fire just like fire the like yeah, Holy Ghost come on just like fire, 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 just like fire,
soul with the Holy Ghost fire. I begin to burn down in my soul. That's when the Holy Ghost took control. Just like my The church is open. Amen. If anybody needs the Holy Ghost fire today, anybody need to confess that they need to be saved, that the invitation is out for you and whoever want to come down. Amen. The invitation is open to anybody. Come on, somebody. Feels like fire. Feels like fire. Feels like fire. 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 Where Holy Ghost fire. Put your hands together and just praise the Lord. Yes. Ah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. The doors of God's church never close. The doors of the church always open. Amen. Amen. If anyone would like to come down and have prayer today, you are welcome to come down. Pastor said it was all right. I asked Pastor was it okay. He said that's fine. If you'd like to come down and have prayer, Amen. Come on down. Amen. Come on down. Amen. But don't go back home feeling the same way you come in with. Come on, church. Come on. Hallelujah. The invitation is out there. And Lord, I just want to, I, I want to come down, but I just don't want to come down and let them see me. Amen. You know what God needs. You know what God needs to do for you. You know what God needs to do for you. Hallelujah. There's people lying in the hospital, and they can't even come to church. There are people that are on the bed of affliction, and they can't even come to church. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't blame you, sister. I would bring them on down, too. Bring them on down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the house of prayer. This is the house of God. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't be ashamed. Amen. Don't be ashamed. So God can do anything but fail today. Don't be ashamed of calling on the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Don't be ashamed to call on the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of the ministers, come on out, come on out. Some of our ministers, come around, come around, come around, come on, come on. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. So glad to see you. Come on, come on. Hey, 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 come on, ministers, stand around. Pray with them, pray with them, yes. Come on, come on, that's right, come on. Come on, pray with them, pray with them. That's right. Come on, come on, come on. God can do anything. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Job. She lost her job. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Come on. 
mother. Praise him, mother. 103. Amen. Praise him, mother. Praise him. Hallelujah. Amen. Y'all just let him praise him. That's, that's God. It's, it don't, you ain't got to hold the heart. Don't hold the heart. Just praise him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah.
God a hand clap of praise. Let's give the woman of God advances. Now you to Ross a hand clap of praise for delivering God's word. We thank everyone that was a part of this worship experience. We pray over everyone that is in here right now. I do want to say as we get ready to say farewell for this week until we meet again, I want to recognize Sister Marie Brown. Sister Marie Nelson Brown, who had heart surgery. And she's right here with us now. We thank God for her. As it stated, we thank God for Sister Bertha Ann Cotton, who's been away and God's been working with her body. We thank God for her living testimony. I want to thank God for our beloved Sister Tammy Jenkins, who's a survivor but able to get in the choir this Sunday. Only God knows. I want to thank you for Sister Rosie Banks still every day. She's on dialysis, but she's walking in here saying, I'm going to give God the praises that's due to him. I want to thank God for each and every one of you all who has been to Deacon Leroy Dad, glass that was on a ventilator, but he's here today to give God praises. We want to thank God right now. It ain't hard to love God's people. Thank you, thank you, Ross. We want to say, stand up for Jesus. It's time for us to go home, but I want to say, like Evangelist Ross said, it's like Jeremiah said, it's like fire. Oh, shut up in my bones. Fire. It's inside of us. The devil may get busy. He may take your job. The devil may get busy. He may bring sickness in your home. The devil may get busy. Want to take your mind elsewhere. But there's Jesus that's always on the throne. Nobody but you, Lord. Nobody but you. Francis Ross said, Pastor, will you oil them when they come down? Do you have your oil? I got my oil, but he anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Francis Ross said, that's what I'm talking about, Pastor. We got to loose this ship and let God come on in. Thank you for the word. But I ask you to stand as we get ready to dismiss. And Evangelist Ross will be down here at the center, and I'm going to ask someone to help Deacon Ross and get him situated right there. And you go by and shake her hand and let her know that I needed this today. In God's word, in God's anointing. Don't forget the meetings they stated that there will be a meeting over in the dining hall. You knew who they called out, the outreach ministry. The other ministry that is supposed to be meeting today, you've already spoken with your members. You all know where you're going to be meeting. But as we get ready to dismiss, as the question is asked, is it too hard to love God's people? If it is, then we don't have Jesus in our center. We're human. Sometimes it's a struggle, but if you know Jesus, he will convict you and you will still have to love. So let us go ahead and close out as Apostle Paul said, finally, my brethren, farewell. Be perfect. Be of good comfort and be of one mind and live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with us all. Peace be unto you all in Jesus' name. We pray and we ask. Amen.
get it. Bless you.